Mel Harris, garbage man Piper, coming to you again from a beautiful day. Look at those puffy white clouds and blue sky. It's 65, cloudy. I'm enjoying a pipe in my go to Canadian Savinelli Naked, and I'm finished up the sample that Andrew gave me on the uh, C and D. Canadian, Virginia, Bit of Parique. And I'm loving it. Hey, listen, short and sweet video. Uh, two shout outs. Um, Want to give a shout out to uh, Peter McPherson. And it's funny because every time I hear. Mc, the, the last name McPherson my rear end hurts I had a shop teacher named McPherson when I was in the 8th grade woodworking shop you may not believe this but I was a bit of a clown in school I know it's a surprise but it's true I was a mischief maker that guy I think he had to make another paddle once I got out of his class I done wore that baby smooth next shout out pipe smoking cowboy yeehaw Chris Thanks for the sub. Hey, I got a couple of small yabos, but they are special. Um, some of you don't know, but my mentor I work with, I've been working with him for about 20 years, my piping mentor, Richard, he got a yabo. So every time I get a box, I'm walking over there, we're opening our boxes and we're sharing and it's flipping Christmas all the time. But uh, he got a Yabo, he bought some, uh, I don't know what tobacco house he bought it from, but it was Cornell and Deal's Comfort. He is a Parique Chuchin maniac, and so uh, he bought some of this. Smooth texture of Parique and bright Virginias with a touch of cube cut burley and black cavendish for a smooth slow burning smoke find solace in this parique lover's dream so thank you richard i appreciate that brother also got me another yabo from nelly <coughs> nelly catalano so, Nelly, listen, first of all, I want to thank you so much. I know that you're a lot like me. You're watching these videos and you're seeing all this stuff that people are saying that they like and enjoy. And you sent me some joy, kiddo. So, with that... I got a cis note. It says, how's it going, bud? <laughs> and I am your bud. Hope this Becky finds you well. Enjoy smokes, Nelly. Nelly, that'll get posted. Um, I'm just going to say, real quick, Sweet chicken, baby. I love that Dunhill Flake. So, uh, I'll be cellaring that. I've got a little bit still in a jar. And uh, I'm going to be enjoying some of that. I, I enjoy the Dunhill Dark Flake and that uh, Dunhill Flake. Um, 
I'm going to have to start uh, cracking open some of the collection, some of these McClellans. Um, I, again, I've, the only McClellan I've ever tried is that one I popped on the live, which was uh, the uh, Dominican Glory. And uh, it was okay. It wasn't too bad. I've sent some samples out of uh, the Mayhem group, got some samples. Um, that being said, you know, um, I think before I start using the McClellans as currency too awful much, I need to be opening some of that and really trying some. I've got most of the stuff I'm really holding back on are the 100 gram Tims, the 100 gram Tins. But I've got a bunch of 50s, and so I'm going to start there. I will break open a Christmas cheer, and I will break open a 40th because I don't have 50s on those. I've got some people that are wanting to try that Christmas cheer, and uh, we'll just see. There's something about it, though. It says Christmas, and I'm, I'm really thinking I may wait just a little bit closer to Christmas to pop open that Christmas cheer. But there's nothing saying that 40th anniversary shouldn't get popped if you know what I mean listen speaking of popped if you haven't subscribed to old pops channel you're missing out baby you're missing out this guy is world-class storyteller world-class and he keeps me in stitches man I, I save to watch his videos to where I can just uh, really pay attention because uh, his stuff will just sneak up and bite you. It's some funny flipping stuff. And old Pops, listen man, I love what you do and I love your style, bro. Just keeping it simple, simple guy. And uh, I love it. I just absolutely love it. So listen, uh, with that short, and sweet um, but I'm gonna tell you uh, I got a little joke I've told it before but there's a lot of new percenters out there and there's people that haven't seen my stuff because I'm I'm really one of the more serious type of guys so here it is what is the difference between a hippo and a zippo give you a second cogitate on that well a hippo is a big heavy animal and a zippo is just a little lighter with that y'all have a great day and you be safe out there